guys welcome back to bl world drama your go-to source for the juiciest scandals in the world of bl and gls from trending hashtags to sizzling social media drama i've got it all join me as i dive deep into the lives of your favorite stars with exclusive updates secrets and interviews that will keep you hooked subscribe now ring the bell and let's dive into the glitz the glam and the scandalous world of bl and gls so let's get right into it so i have an update from friend she did a live like apparently two hours ago or three hours ago i was not i had no prior knowledge of this life i just found out later on and i've been trying to source out like english subtitled for the whole life but haven't been able to get the live i have the full video it's 10 minutes but i don't feel like it's necessary for me to post it here because it actually doesn't like work because you people actually need the english translation so i have another video of like that is less than that highlighting the points on what she talked about that are english translated but the problem is that they don't like they don't like go hand in hand with her words exactly i don't know how to explain but you will understand and i'm here saying disclaimer please I've said before in my previous video that there are rumors that there are a lot of fake translations going around in the friend Becky fandom. So this is the only English translation that I could find that I brought here. And so please don't like a hundred percent like take it for what it is. I will still try to find other videos. And if I do find a video that is contrary to what I am posting here, i will let you guys know so in that video she highlighted like key points first she said that she didn't know what was going on she was in the hall and her mother was in charge of taking care of everything about the gifts and everything and i'm like yes if she, if she wasn't in charge and her mother was the one in charge of that yesterday she wasn't in the hall i don't think yesterday she was performing unless she was and i'm not aware so she could have just made a statement yesterday even though she didn't know what was happening she was in the hall why wait a whole two days to make a statement but that's on her maybe she didn't have access to the internet or something but i did see that she like yesterday posted like a promotional video of her song so or her manager or whoever like was in charge of account did that and i think that person could have let her know what was happening or her the idol factory agency could have let her know so for me there it doesn't work that is just like i don't know what to say but it's a no-no for me i don't like accept that and then the second part she says is that she is sorry she apologizes for the event being cancelled and when she knew the event was cancelled she didn't want her team to write like an apology she wanted to write the apology herself which she says she did in her language in chinese and in english and she apologizes to the fans and she says that she's sorry for everything that this thing has caused and the only thing that she can control is her performance and not, nothing else and then the third the third thing she says is that she is like she, the case is still in court and due to to like reasons beyond her she can't say more about the case and i mean when she says the case i think she means the privacy case the invasion of privacy case and then the fourth thing she says is that she has been sleeping all day today and because this is the first day that she's she's had her off day and so she has just been sleeping waking up eating resting and sleeping again and she's been taking she's been taking real good care of herself so that was those were the key points of what she spoke on the live and yeah the live was like 10 minutes long and like the only places i could find her speaking while were, were like very few because most of the time it's like she was just reading the comments or something so yeah that's what happened so that's the update and there is also another fake like pictures going around 
of her like on the same live with Becky. Those are false photos because Becky was on live on TikTok while she was on live on Instagram. So at no instance were they on live together. And I think these photos are being edited so that fans can believe like there is like they, they were talking together or they had like some time together, which is false. Please don't believe that. Again, a lot of fake information coming out from that fandom. I have a video of Beck herself saying, jokingly and laughing in English, saying, I know you guys are stressing out because right now you have to follow two lives. So I'll also include that video here. So guys, yeah, I will let you know whatever goes on. Friend has spoken about it. Idol Factory, on the other hand, has, has, have decided to take a back seat as usual. So, yeah, if anything happens more other than that, I also have, like, other information that I'm gathering on this whole fandom. And if those information, like, have some truth or, like, when they do come to light, I'm scared of what these girls will have to go through. And the information is heavy. I'm not going to lie, it's heavy. And I'm even scared of bringing it here. And I've been like, because it's something that is huge information. I just hope and pray it's all lies. But I don't know. I don't know what I'll do, guys. I don't know. Let me just think about it. But I, for now, I won't share anything. So... I'll wait if the news breaks then I'll bring it here if it doesn't break then I'll just let it go so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe turn on the post notification give me a thumbs up share my videos and I'll see you in my next one <laughs> you guys trying to watch two lives at the same time <laughs> เออสมาพูดเรื่องของขวัญโปรเจกต์เอนี่ทิ้งต่างๆค่ะไม่ไม่เคยมองข้ามแม้แต่โปรเจกต์เดียวเลยแล้วก็อยากออกไปถ่